Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to show you like how to explain your Tableau project in the interview. So I do understand you are attending multiple interviews and probably you are not getting shortlisted or not getting a proper feedback based on your interview. So one common question the interviewer asks into the discussion is to tell me something about your project or walk me through your recent Tableau project, recent challenges, whatever you had faced so far. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you like how you can answer those questions properly. All right. So let's start with the question. The question is how to explain the Tableau project in an interview. Okay. So before going to start, like you have to reframe this answer into many things. All right. So many things in the sense you have to answer this in the stage wise, like what kind of things you do in the Tableau. So I would divide this into the three stage, all right? So first stage is going to, I mean, this three stage will give you the total flow of the project, but uh, you will have to give a little bit of background of your project work. So you have to tell them like you uh, work with a different team, different team or work for the specific team or specific domain in your company. It could be the account domain, finance domain no or uh, it could be a treasury or something related to billing or something related to sales sales domain it could be anything so you have to reframe your answer like you work for a specific team and you help them of help them by creating a, a specific you know visualization for their reporting purpose in order to enhance their business strategies or take appropriate decision in the sales it could be in the sales it could be related to accounting it could be finance related or it could be payroll related anything because business is associated with different different things so you have to reframe it like for which specific domain you are working okay so once you clarify that and uh, you know give a brief about the project you can divide your process into three parts so first part is your development phase okay where you work with the stakeholders to understand the you know requirement what kind of requirements are there you know to understand requirements you can also say uh, you uh, you help them out with the you know, to, to decide what kind of chart could be a better choice to show sales amount or over the quarter or to show some uh, transactions history over the certain period of time or specific to any specific to any category you can say so that kind of uh, no back and forth uh, discussions you do with the stakeholders while the new projects come into the platform so in the development you do develop the charts Plus, you also develop the data models or data pipeline if it is necessary, if it is coming under your area. Okay, so you do that kind of communications and reframing of your project into development stage where you understand the requirement, you decide what kind of, what kind of charts need to be prepared and to prepare that if there is a roadblocks or any data models need to be prepared, you work on the SQL part in that particular phase. Okay. So that will come under the development. Okay, the next phase will be the testing wall phase, where you are done with your development part, and now you are transferring that particular <coughs> project work, like Tableau file, for UAT testing. So maybe in the UAT testing, the stakeholder or the business team do test your Tableau dashboard in the variety of scenarios by changing multiple filters, multiple criteria, and they finally cross-validate that numbers with their offline system or with their local reporting, what they refer to run their business. And once that numbers are matching or mismatching based on that, they will give you a feedback over here. So I would uh, make it like this reverse arrow, a feedback arrow over here. So based on the feedback, so you can say a feedback feedback for the further enhancement or any any additional suggestion. All right. So once UAT is done, 
they will give some feedback and based on that you again refactor your existing dashboard or recreate some charts some or rebuild some additional features in the existing dashboard and you again go or pass that particular dashboard to UIT testing and once that test is passed then it will go to the next stage and that stage will be nothing but the production okay so once that is on the go live it, it would also term as a go live or the production so that dashboard will go to the production environment okay once the uat test is passed okay once uat is passed so in in many scenarios the uat part or in many project uat part done by tableau developer only but in many project the local team members of the specific team do a uat testing who are regular user of that report they do uat testing and then they sign up the dashboard okay so once that is done it will publish to the production environment okay so now there could be a different environment based on your level of organization or the tableau infrastructure so you develop you share that on the on the development tableau site and once that development tableau site is completed which is passed then you republish that to the uh, prod environment of the tableau server or tableau cloud so that's how it happens so once it is on the production there are certain things that comes in the picture the very first thing is uh, security so how do you implement the role level security for the specific user or group of user then second things comes scheduling and third one is subscription so based on that like uh, you will have to you know again closely work with the stakeholders to understand what kind of role level security needs to be implemented uh, because if you are preparing a report on a global level then you will have to add a role level security based on the uh, kind of teams that uh, which are going to you know uh, use that dashboard or uh, based on the specific user you will have to grant specific access like viewer access creator access or editor access or uh, you know, shareable whatever it may be based on the kind of activity the team member is going to do so that things needs to be managed and that things needs to be mapped once the report is on production side okay so that's how it happens so this is one one of the scenario like this is how you can tell them how you develop it goes to uat then it goes to production it, then you implement certain security measures on it schedule it or apply subscriptions where the stakeholders will get regular update to the email once the data source is got refreshed or your book is refreshed so that's how the so life cycle keep go, goes on okay so that's how you can explain the uh, tableau project to your interviewer now there are certain things that comes again in this picture like what kind of challenges you face while developing the report or what kind of challenges you face while a uh, uat testing or what kind of challenges you face while you no know, once the report is on go live there is a issue with reference to the role level security or subscription then like how would you fix it so this kind of things will only be covered once you have some sort of practical experience okay so that you can achieve it without having a actual experience of tableau i'll tell you how so you will have to practice the developing the tableau dashboard with the different different data you will have to explore the different calculations or different inbuilt functions of the tableau and apply those calculation on the visualization to see how that visualization is reacting or behaving on a specific condition or a criteria and how the context filter works how the major dimension or fix lod works on the different different situation if you change the date on the monthly level then make the fiscal year to the you no know, something else in the month like from january to february or october if you change the fiscal year how the data visualization is changing that visual is changing so that kind of practice or no that kind of some basic practice you can do to to tackle those kind of situation to to answer this question basically like when you say when the interviewer say 
uh, what kind of challenges you face when developing the Devo dashboard. Second thing is with reference to UA team. Once you are good enough in developing the things, you of course you will see whether your numbers are matching or not. Then if your numbers are accurately matching, UA team will not create any issue. But yeah, it is just a cross testing of your all calculations and all that things. If it is working fine, that's good. And then the third part is the production again. So it is very pretty straightforward. You again publish that to the production environment and uh, again cross collab with the uh, different stakeholders or the team members or the managers who are going to use those. So based on the input received from them, like these many users are going to use this particular report, then you will have to you know, add them or granting or permission and all that thing. So it is very straightforward. It doesn't really require a deep level of experience, but yeah, once you are in the tablet job, you will definitely get chance to you know, explore those kind of area also. So yeah, this is how you can explain the overall flow of the tablet projects. All right, now I'll come a bit deep into the technical part of this, like while developing the tablet dashboard, like what kind of charts you build. You can say you build year, year over year sales chart, then you can say you develop the uh, uh, pie chart, you develop the waterfall chart. No? You, you, you can say you develop some custom chart like the uh, radial bar chart or sunburst chart. That kind of chart you have, you have to first practice it and then you can tell them like you have developed this kind, this variety of charts. Right? like that like hit map chart and all that so but but to be honest like in the in the real time the many of the business team doesn't go with very complex charts most of them uh go with the develop chart where they want to see the trends over the time of with the different measures and dimension uh, they want to see the year over year or quarter over quarter or the month over month comparison on the same chart they want to see the pie chart how the distribution is happening they want to see the waterfall chart how the distribution is happening uh, or the category and they want to also see the subtotal of it or total of it so based on the requirement you can figure out like what could be the most appropriate chart to showcase or to highlight that visual so that's how you can answer them you can tell them you had used the parameter you had used the Fix LOD, include LOD, or exclude LOD, or you can say nested LOD, or some sort of things they will ask you. You can tell them uh, you had also worked on this, you no, know, working on the explicitly on the SQL part where you had migrated some calculations in the SQL in order to get lesser burden on the Tableau side. So, that kind of you know, scenario you have to prepare with the example so that that will create a very good impact of you in the interview. So this is what in a nutshell, hope you found this video useful, hit a thumbs up button, share your thoughts in the comment section and do let me know if you are facing any issues, you can always ask me in the comment section, you can reach out to me on the LinkedIn and yeah, if you are struggling for interview, I can take your mock interview, it is free of course, so you have to only reach out to me on the LinkedIn, DM me and we schedule the interview for you. So that's it for the day. Till then, I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.